Ever since every action movie from the 80s and 90s, you know you've wanted a Beretta. But if we're being honest, classic 92s can leave a little to be desired on modern performance. Enter a company called Langdon Tactical, who with virtually no argument makes the finest Berettas you can buy. Rolling. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of 1911 Syndicate. Exciting edition. Today we got the beautiful Langdon Tactical um, Beretta. This is, um, I'll kind of get into the backstory of how this, this came about. Hit a couple quick admin things before we jump into this. You at home watching this, whether on your iPhones, at work. Um, on your TV, like some people do. Some which people I, do watch I'm always TV. flabbergasted that that's... An, I'm like flabbergasted case. that anyone watches this channel <laughs> in general. Um, but, hey, that's on you. You do you, you know? Um, we but appreciate the support. do appreciate the support. We try to keep this uh, channel as shill-free as possible. I can honestly tell everyone, as can you, that we have never sold out for you guys. That nope. does not mean that we do not intend to pick up you know, sponsors and do all that kind of stuff. It's just to say that it's gotta be the right fit. And right now, we're still seeking those relationships. So right now the channel is self-funded, which means that we could use your support. Patreon exists. It is um, it is a, a very simple way for you to sort of uh, help donate, keep the channel funded. Um, the uh, 1911 Syndicate is actually a real estate company. For those of you that don't know, most of you do. Um, for the new people, you may not. We deal mostly military law enforcement circles, shooters, hunters, all that kind of stuff. That does not mean that we're interested in entertaining your real estate fantasies about buying land to go build a private shooting range on. Spoiler alert, stop. if you want to do that, that is a cash stop. deal. You cannot, you cannot finance that, so everyone can please stop emailing me about financing a private fucking shooting range. Thank you. Okay, uh, moving on to Langdon Tactical. Can you hang on to that? Yeah, board? sure. Um, if you're also new We're here. clear, just so everyone knows. <clears throat> My brain has enough things to remember, so... Papa Jake prints out notes, and that's what we do here. So, um, relationship with Langdon. So, here's how this came about. So, I had a Beretta um, Elite LTT, which is a factory Beretta gun. We're going to get into the difference in what that is versus what an actual Langdon gun is, because it is, frankly, a little bit confusing. Um, but I had that. I did a review on that. Uh, you weren't up here for that, so I don't even think you shot that gun. Nope. Um, but I did a review on that. That was, I don't know, maybe September, October last year. I thought I had a Langdon Beretta, and then there was some confusion. Turns out I have a factory Beretta. But through that, I actually reached out to Langdon. I was like, can you help me figure out what the hell gun I have here? Because I'm super confused right now. And they're like, yeah, here's how it works. And I was like, cool, great. I've got a factory Beretta. I would also love to do a review on a proper Langdon at some point. So yeah. um, they worked up the gun, sent it out for the review. Um, it'll either go back to them or I'll buy it or however that works. But right now it's here as a, uh, as a loaner and then we'll address what to do after that. A little bit of background on Langdon. I had a call with, um, not with Ernest Langdon, but, um, with one of the guys over there and just try to give you a little insight into like, who are these companies and how do they kind of come about? Langdon is, is a fairly organic kind of tale of how the company came about. So Ernest Langdon, um, was a marine for like uh 12 years i guess you know always a marine no one take that personally and the marines don't kill me i get it once a marine always a marine but um langdon was a marine after he gets out of the marines which uh right the only thing i've known in that yeah through the uh so yeah so late 90s he's basically doing competitions and he's winning competitions with his m9 beretta and that's an unusual gun to be competing with um i think it's probably still kind of a interesting gun to yeah. be competing with yeah. But um, so he's winning comps with 
his Beretta and he's like super legit ninja shooter and he starts doing training courses. And through his training courses, you know, some of his students are like, hey, can you work on my Beretta and make it like yours, right? So he starts doing the gunsmithing and everything. 2014, they actually start up Langdon Tactical, the actual like formal, yeah. um, you know, gunsmithing shop, if you will, based down in Phoenix. So based down in uh, Chris's neck of the woods there. Just down the street from me. Yeah, uh, very close actually. <laughs> now yeah. that I know where they are, they're yeah. actually quite close to you. And um, so anyway, Langdon with, um, is really the name in Beretta customization. Uh, and I mean, I really don't think that there's much dispute to it. I mean, it's one of those things like, hey, you got a Beretta, um, you know, 92 st style yeah. platform that you want modded, like that's that that's the place to do it. So... Um, to the point where in Phoenix, because a lot of people know that they're local, mm -hmm. when dudes come into shops and buy a Langdon, they're like taking it straight to, or when they buy a Beretta, yeah. they're like going straight to Langdon. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's kind of a necessary... Yeah. Thing for sure these. yeah and so we'll get into it this gun has sort of three primary features but one of the things that we want to start with is okay well what's the difference in the elite ltt and a proper langdon gun okay yeah. so here's how this works um the elite ltt is a factory beretta gun factory model right has not been customized any of that but essentially what beretta does is they license some of the you know features and names associated with langdon stuff and that's how you kind of get like a hybrid of like well it's like a factory Beretta, but it's like almost like a semi-custom thing that has some interesting features. So what the Elite TT, uh, L, Elite, LTT has, said TD. Um, they license the LTT name. It's a M9 A1 frame and a Vertex slide, okay? So, which is the same thing that we have going on here. I'll get into it. Chris, I'm really not a Beretta guy either. Um, same. Minus yeah. the couple yep. videos. You've never really been a Beretta guy this, either. This was my first time ever shooting a Beretta. Which is still wild to me. Every, I can't any it. model, this is the first time I ever shot a Beretta. Yeah. Um, so, they have different frames, different slides. So, um, the LTT has a radius under the trigger guard, a bevel underneath the magwell, a bevel to reduce slide bite, which is nice. I'll take that. Um, front cocking serrations, which are, of course, on this as well. And then it does have the two-tone color with the, um, you know, with the stainless barrel, with the, you know, the black finish and all that kind of are stuff. Are these MP3 coated, all the parts? Yes, but we're going to get into that because it's more Langdon-specific ah. stuff. So for the Elite My LTT, bad. the factory gun, that is not the case. My bad. Okay? My no, bad. No, not, yep. not bad at all. But, you know, but so anyway... Um, so you can buy that factory gun. That's probably what most people do is they buy that factory Beretta. Then they send it off to Langdon and they're like, do your crazy shit to it. And the big three things that are happening here that we'll discuss is the red dot cut, the MP3 coating. And just in case anyone's wondering, Chris is not bawling his eyes oh, out. Dude. He had a very poor spray of sunblock Ugh. earlier and he's, and he's paying the price now. Everyone. Dude, I'm hurting. Yeah, I can tell. I are can my tell. eyes red? Oh yeah, you look rough. It's not from you drugs. Look rough. It's yeah, not yeah. from drugs. I mean, you look like you've just been just yeah do, doing all, all, all the bad things. Today. Me and Johnny Hopkins behind school were yeah. blazing um, it up. So um, the red dot, the MP3 coating, and then the trigger drive are going to be the sort of three signature things that have been done to this, which is really what makes it a Langdon gun. But you could just buy the factory Beretta, send it off to Langdon, or you could just buy a complete gun direct from Langdon. I can tell you this is the full-size gun. They do have a compact and then a Centurion, which I'm still not quite clear on someone can chime in on that yeah. compact i'm clear on because that's what we did before but this is the full size so let's talk about the red dot cut yeah this is a very interesting feature um so langdon is the first one to do a proper red dot cut for a beretta which um, is cool yeah it, it's cool and to my understanding i think it was only about a year and a half ago that they came out with that i think it was like mid um I don't know, 2019, 2020, something like that. Like it hasn't been long. It's like a year, year and a half, so okay. somewhere in that time frame. So this is a relatively new feature um, to give you a couple specs on it because frankly, some of it quite surprised me. Um, so it's actually one of the lowest red dot cuts that's out there. So from the center of the bore, it's only 0.85 inches over the bore. Wow. That's actually, so, so that's sub one inch. Sub one inch. Holdover, yeah. right? So I mean, if we just put it in simple terms for everyone, your, your height over bore, mechanical offset, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, when you're at the distance where you've zeroed, all that's a non-issue, but your you know, sort of raw height over bore is 0.85, which is really good. Um, like that, That's actually quite good. Now, to get to that point was quite complicated, and this is what's pretty interesting about this. So to, <clears throat> to do a proper red dot cut, 
um, what they had to do is they had to essentially redesign the slide. So specifically, the firing pin and the firing pin block had to get like completely redone because otherwise you would have a very, very tall red dot. And we'll address what Beretta themselves is doing here in a, in a moment. But so essentially when Langdon gets in your slide, they're re-engineering your slide if they're gonna do a red dot cut on it. So this was not a path of least resistance thing. Now my dog is just, you know, completely just decided he's gonna run away right now. Dude, but, I swear he perked up because he saw something over there and he's going full tilt. Yeah, no, he's chasing something out there. Now at the same time, Fuck that dog, because he decided to roll in a literal pile of fresh cow shit, green and everything, earlier. <laughs> it's on his dog collar. He rolled in so much cow shit, it's everywhere. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. Dude, he is covered in cow shit. <laughs> nope, nope, go. Get out of here. Go get Jake. Well, I'm going to have to bathe you now. You're covered in dog shit. Dude, it's on his shoulders? It's under his oh, collar. Dude, he doesn't give a fuck. You <laughs> asshole. <laughs> what, a <laughs> what a dick. What a dick. You're covered in cow shit. Um, his oh, collar so is currently off of him because it is caked in actual shit. And he's oh, actually uh, caked in actual shit. Yeah, his so. body literally has shit all over it. So Awesome dog, guys. We awesome only dog. do this because you want him on set. Finn! I don't want him to get hurt. Finn! Now back to business. Um, Beretta does have a factory red dot gun coming out. The well, it's out. Um, the but recently, so it's the Beretta uh, 92X RDO. Now Beretta went a different approach, right? Because it's a factory gun and it's only like 700 bucks, you know, yeah. give, give or take a couple, whatever it is. Basically, they're like, look, we're, we're not going to redesign anything. We're going to take the path of least resistance, and we're just going to slap a really tall-ass red dot <laughs> on this slide. Fuck it. So, they're like, we're not re-engineering anything, not to mention that's probably patented. I don't know this, but it's probably patented um, stuff from Langdon. So, Breda probably didn't even, you know, they were just not going to fuck that's with that. That's a good point, yeah. So, essentially, what you have with the factory Breda one, because some people might be going, oh, just get the factory Breda one and save a bunch of money. Sure, but you're going to have a massively tall red dot that if you have... Um, iron sights that are gonna, you know, co-witness that all inside of that window, they are gonna be very, very, very tall. Like this is normal and this works fine. One thing that's also gonna be an issue for you if you have that factory Beretta gun is gonna be holsters because your yeah. front sight is gonna be think that. massively yeah. tall, right? So it's like holster fitment is likely to be a problem. And now the dog comes galloping back up the hill like an elk. Um, Covered in shit. Yeah, so that's a little bit about the red dot system. I will tell you that when I got it, I thought it was gonna be clunky. I actually really thought it was gonna be clunky. I was like, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be super tall. It's gonna be aesthetically unpleasing. Turns out one, I actually think it looks quite cool. Yeah. Um, but it's actually, it, it works just as well and as, as intuitive as any other red dot pistol to shoot. Like it's actually quite nice. It was a pleasant surprise for me because I almost, when I was sort of specking out the gun that I wanted them to build for the review, I was almost like, eh, don't do the red dot because I, I don't think I'm going to like it and I yeah. don't want to have to say bad things. Yeah. Um, but it turns out it's actually pretty damn cool. I so, think it's great, man. Good on Langdon yeah. for that. Hollis on 507C is running on that. And you'll see even, you know, we're not going to show it here, but if you take that off and you look at the plate itself, you'll be like, oh, that's totally different in terms of where this screws actually attached to the slide. I, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It's not like the four corners of the plate is where it screws in. No, no, no. It's like three random locations where that thing has to attach to the slide. But you look at it and you're like, okay, you guys really had to re-engineer shit in order to make this possible. So again, props on Langdon for that. The other sort of signature thing that's also on this is the MP3 coating. So pretty cool. Um, it's a nickel Teflon finish, right? There's my science for the day, yep. just for anyone that doesn't know. Nickel Teflon finish, no big deal. That was also pioneered by another aerospace company that does a lot of MP3 stuff in Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix yeah. killing it, killing it on this yep. episode here. What's up, shit dog? How are you? Um, so all of the internals, basically everything minus the frame, the slide, and the barrel are MP3 coded. So all the internals, anything that's metal that's not yeah. the slide, the frame, or the barrel, which I get it, you're like, isn't that the whole gun? No, because there's a shit ton of parts, right, in, in guns, guys, between triggers and trigger bars and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff is MP3 coded. What is it going to get you? It's going to get you extreme lubricity. 
There's Say a big that word. again. Extreme lubricity. 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 Um, so it's going to help keep it lubricated. Okay. It's just going to retain oil nice. It's going to be like um, corrosion resistant, all that kind of stuff. Almost think of it similar to like titanium nitride for bolt carrier groups. Uh -huh. Similar sort of This philosophy. was like the precursor to all that. Yeah. 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 S similar sort of philosophy, right? So the MP3 coating, very cool. Very smooth as well. And that's one thing that you will notice, like just when you rack that slide and everything, you're just, just... like, man, it is incredibly, incredibly smooth. And this is coming from a 1911, 2011 guy that I enjoy a good smooth slide every Yeah, I mean, right one there. finger. It, it's butter. It's really, really butter. I mean, they clean that up and do a quite, quite good job with it. So that's the MP3 coating. The trigger itself, I'll just give you some specs on the trigger, because one of the, probably the thing that Langdon's the most known for is their their trigger jobs that they do on yeah. Beretta's. Yeah. It's fantastic. I mean, uh, here's double action for you. It's fantastic. Literally straight back, no grittiness, no hang up. I mean, it, it feels like, I hate that saying like ball bearings, but I mean, it is smooth, so smooth. as snot. It's so smooth. So, to give you the runny actual snot specs, all fucking day, so. Yeah, but I mean, your whole face and head, <sighs> I'm and basically struggling. from the neck up, you're just, you're riding the struggle struggling. bus. Struggling. So the factory trigger, right on the factory brothers, double actions, nine and a half to 10 pounds. And then on this cleaned up six and a half. So they take a lot out of it. So that's six and a half on double, okay? But incredibly smooth, like Chris was saying. So like, there's no, a lot of double action triggers, uh, you know, they're just kind of clunky and they're kind of gritty and just like, there's like stages you feel where you like hit. Clunk, 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 clunk. Yeah, it's like you're kind of riding this roller coaster that's kind of uneven the whole time, right? And that is just so incredibly smooth, six and a half pound, very, yeah. very, very nice. The, um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the nine and a half to 10 pounds on double action on the factory, six and a half on single action for the factory gun on the Langdon on double action takes it to seven and a half and then on double action to three and a half. Now, frankly, I thought it was lighter than three and a half. I was like, that does not feel like three and a half pounds to me, but, um, whatever. We don't, I don't have a Lyman pull gauge and all that kind of shit. Cause I don't care. Um, <laughs> you know, sorry. I know for the real, real reviewers that pisses you off, but I just don't care that much. So, um, people should know by now that we're just not into that. Ah, it's not us. It's not us. Yeah. Not what we do. Um, I'll tell you, it's the best double action trigger pull I've ever felt. Ever. I, I mean, it's in, it, it's really genuinely fantastic. Um, one of a very niche thing that you'll run into if you're a lefty. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a lefty. Is that you'll notice that trigger bar, of course, moves right. Yep. That so when for our our grip and you're shooting like this, you kind of have to play with your grip a little because that that trigger bar is just going to sit there up on you. and rub against your hand does it actually impede anything no it doesn't but i found myself just kind of being a little bit more loose on that you know that you know it's, you just have to modify it just a, a tad you know a nuanced point is it significant no it's just you know something i've, I've kind of noticed yeah another thing the reset is incredibly short um yeah. let's see if i can get that on camera right so Single action trigger, pull, gun cycles. Here's your let go. It's nothing. Pull, let's do it again. And notice one other thing too. There's no over travel on it. No. When you reset it. Yep. You reset yeah. it, it's like you are right on the wall. So let out, I start to put pressure. There is no movement. There's it's nothing. literally just the wall. Yeah, there's nothing. You're just so. right on the wall as soon as it resets. Um, so it, you know, again, we're, I'm, I'm lingering on the trigger here, but that's a signature Langdon thing, and it's fucking phenomenal. And it, a it, big gripe really about Berettas, so yeah, I mean, that's why not, it's not something to linger on. Yeah, <laughs> linger. lingers. He lingers. <laughs> um, a couple other things. So the uh, iron sights are a lower one-third co-witness. Um, they are all blacked out. Yep. I like that. So, look, if it's a red dot gun, which it is, um, I don't need fiber optic. I don't want it actually. Like I just want blacked out sights. That's yep. just me. The other sights don't really bother me, but it's a potential point of distraction that I simply don't need in my life. You know, <laughs> um, as mentioned, that's the full size. So it's 18 round capacity. The compact, I think it's 15 rounds if I remember right. Our, our Beretta LTT video was on a compact. I think it's 15. So 18. Yeah, these are 18. So yep. high capacity, you know, Which is great cool. capacity. Um, price as configured, as configured, um, 1765, which I think is a really good I think price that's fair. for that. Yep. Um, I, I think it's a totally acceptable price. Um, some people, of course, you know, you know, throw fits, but you, you throw a fit about anything. You go to a 99 cent store and you get mad about the way shit's priced, even though it says it on the, the goddamn Well, especially sign. now, because Dollar Tree, because of inflation, is 
one point two five oh, for this. Not like, a dollar. Those, is that right? They yeah. Charge that? First time they had to up their prices in like fifty eight years because of inflation. So now Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, not a dollar. Fuck those guys, man. Um, okay. Well, I shop there often. That's why I know. Yeah. Well, that's where your whole outfit came from. All of there, it. You know, like all of it. <laughs> um, so uh, don't quote me on lead times, but they do have pretty reasonable lead times. Yeah. I'm not going to get into it because it constantly changes based on inventory and all that. But just know, like, it's not like a year lead time or anything like that. It's actually pretty, in, in my eyes, actually pretty reasonable lead times. Um, so there is that. Um, I've tried to think of criticisms because, you know, you always want to like, okay, well, let me try to give you the counter argument to all this. And I really can't find much. I'll tell you, damn near the only thing that I'm like, I wouldn't mind being different is more grip, like grippier grips. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm just nitpicking at that point. One thing we found too while shooting this, if you have a loaded mag and you insert kind of aggressively, you will get a birthday bump. That slide yeah. will go home and you can get back on target, yeah, which is kind of cool. Fairly consistent, fairly so. consistent. Um, yeah. You know, some people could argue they don't want that, but that's, you know, whatever. You know, which argue that either way. Which is just stupid, but. I mean, it's less movement for me to do, so. You um, mean you want to be quicker? Anyways, yeah, yeah I'm go good ahead. with it. Go um, but I, I mean, seriously, guys, like, I really can't find much to, to come here and be like, you know, yeah, but, like, here's the alternative to that. I, I really can't find much. I mean, it's just. It's really going to come down to this. Do you like Berettas or not? Because if you like Berettas, that's a no-brainer. Like, that's absolutely something you should have if you're a Beretta Agreed. guy. If you're like, I hate double action, I hate Berettas, cool, don't get one. It's probably not going to be your thing because you're like, even though it might turn you around because it yeah. kind of changes yeah. your perspective a little bit on a double to single gun. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have much. It's just kind of a overwhelmingly positive thing. You yeah, know? happy like, to shoot it. I was happy that I liked it as much as I did that it shot as well as it did. Double action, I was like, oh, this thing's gonna suck. And I was like, holy, dude, yeah. this is not bad whatsoever, yeah. so. Um, yeah, it, and if you really put some time into that, you get really, really good, really, I agree. really fast with that. Yep. Uh, I'm not because it's totally different than what, it, what I'm used to shooting, so I'm probably a little sloppy with it, but you can get really, really good with that thing. Yeah. So anyway, cool. guys, that's the uh, moral of the story. Good on Langdon, thanks for sending that gun out for the review. We do appreciate it, they've been cool to work with, so. Yeah. Always appreciate that with companies. So. Yeah, 100%. So with that, we leave you to your day. Thanks, guys.